Hi everyone, thank you for watching and welcome to today's video. So today we are going to be doing a get ready with me video on this look right here. Something I just kind of threw it together but I had a request to do a get ready with me video using the products that I hauled in my last drugstore haul. So I used most of those products today which I have been really loving lately and it's awesome because they're affordable products. So mostly everything I use in this video today is from the drugstore which is awesome. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I had a lot of fun just sitting down, chilling, talking about makeup and just kind of like a laid back video. So thank you for requesting this. Thank you for watching this and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and let's go ahead and let's go get ready. Today I'm going to be using the Milani Concealer Seal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation Concealer. I'm using the shade Light Beige, and I'm going to be applying that with my damp beauty blender. Let me dry it out a little bit. I had a request to do a get ready with me video using the products I did in my drugstore haul. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to be using a lot of affordable products, which is awesome. The, all the stuff that I got um, that I did in that video, I have been loving so far. Um, been using them a lot lately which makes me happy because I always like to use stuff a that I like but it's always really fun to find stuff at the drugstore that it's like really good so that's good I did a face peel three days ago and my skin is so dry so I figured applying it with a damp beauty blender would really help kind of add some hydration back into my skin since I am using more of a matte foundation. I just feel like matte foundations always look better on me. All right, next I'm gonna go in and cream contour. I'm gonna be using this Wet n Wild Contour Stick. This is in the shade Where's Walnut. I'm just going to draw this on the hollow points of my cheekbones. So on my forehead, my chin, under my lip to make it look a little bit bigger and then down the sides of my nose. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with this contour stick. I was expecting it to not really blend out very well, but for a drugstore, my dog is like going crazy right now, <laughs> but for a drugstore contour stick, I think it actually blends out really nicely. I've definitely become a fan of cream contouring lately. Like, I used to just do powder, but I feel like the cream just really helps kind of like make it last longer and kind of intensify, but not too much. But definitely for like a cream contour for my nose, I feel like it looks a lot more, more better. I feel like it looks a lot better. I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the shade Light, and I'm almost out of this. I'm so sad. I'm definitely going to have to get a new one because this is seriously like the best concealer I have ever used. So full coverage, and it just blends out so nicely and like sets itself. I probably should put some on my forehead, but... you see this pimple coming through? Like, what the heck is going on? I'm going to try something different today. I'm going to try and set my under eyes with this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. I'm just going to take some on my beauty blender. I have no idea. I've literally never done this before, but let's see. I've been using the Laura Mercier translucent powder for so long, like I just kind of wanted to try something different. I actually felt like it set the, the eyes pretty well. Not bad at all. I'm going to be using this e.l.f. bronzer palette today and I'm just going to take a mixture of these two here dust off the excess. This is a new brush I just picked up. Got it at Burke's Outlet. It's kind of like a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx. And it reminded me of the Real, Tex Real Techniques brush. Jeez, I cannot talk today. And this was only like five bucks. I thought it was so pretty. So I've been using this the past couple days and I actually really like it for applying bronzer. 
I'm just gonna use a very light hand just to kind of set the cream and give the face some warmth. For blush, I'm gonna be using this beautiful blush right here. This is the Milani Powder Blush in the shade T Rose, absolutely gorgeous. And I really, really like this blush. I was not expecting it to be as pigmented as it is, but it is so freaking beautiful. I want to contour my nose with a powder as well, just to kind of set it down. So I'm going to be using this shade from the Tarte Contour Palette. A little bit on there. Dust off the excess because we definitely don't want like crazy stripes going down our nose. I have to get really close to do this one, so let's do it. I'm going to be using the Becca Cosmetics. I'm holding this so funny right now. The Becca Cosmetics Champagne Pop, which you guys know is my absolute favorite. You can do no wrong. I'm just gonna place this with a very light hand right on, like right above my cheekbones. I just feel like it brings life to the skin, honestly. It just gives you that nice glow, even though we have a, such a matte foundation on. I just feel like this adds a little bit of extra dimension to the face. Put some on my cupid's bow. I'm gonna take some on this tiny little brush here, some of the same champagne pop, and highlight my nose. I went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera just because that can get a little monotonous. I'm gonna set my face today because I really do need some hydration, and I'm gonna be using the Josie Maron. Josie Maron however you pronounce it. A hydrating mist. This stuff is, I don't know how I feel about it. I really haven't used it enough to get a really good feel on it. So I let that dry. <coughs> oh my God, something got in my throat. <clears> throat. All right, I was really trying to be good with having my hair down, or yeah, hair down. It's just not working out for me today. I had to put it up. So I'm gonna go in and just apply this color from the Carly Bible palette just to set my eyelids. This is just like the lightest shade in the palette. I do this with any eye look. I have no idea what kind of eye look I'm gonna be. Did I use the right side? I don't think I used the right side. I have no idea what kind of eye look I'm gonna be doing today, but this is always a must for me. Next, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. This is a really good transition shade. I've used this shade probably the most out of any other shade in this palette. Oh my God. Yeah, I just hit pan. Oh. That's so sad. Now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which is the next darkest shade, a really pretty like muted mauvey purple. I'm just taking it on the same brush because I'm gonna go basically right over top of that brownish color. Now I'm going to take that same bone white shade on just like a flat packer brush, definer brush, whatever you want to call it, and just pack this onto like the first part of my eyelid just to brighten it up. Go ahead and do my lips. I'm weird about that. Um, I just need some lip product on. So I'm going to be lining my lips with the Essence Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade In the Nude, number 11. This is like one of my favorite lip liners. I really only like two lip liners, and it's this one, which is super affordable, and then the MAC Strip Down Lip Liner. I am obsessed with that, and I really haven't used another lip liner um, since I got the MAC Strip Down, but... I'm trying to keep everything pretty affordable and I just recently started using this one again and I love it so much. It's such a beautiful nude color. 
Then I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Nudie Patootie, which is extremely nude, but more of like a grayish nude. So I'm going to go over that with the NYX Cairo Soft Matte Lip Cream just to kind of give it a little bit more of a pinkish hue. I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper. This is actually pretty good. I actually really like this uh, liquid liner, pen liner, whatever you want to call it. I literally like cannot do this unless I'm super close to the mirror, so please excuse me. I'm sorry. This is the Sephora Collection Length and Volume Mascara. Just a little tiny one. I got it in one of my Sephora Play Boxes. I'm going to be lining my inner waterline with the Essence Cosmetics White Eye Pencil. It's just going to help open up the eyes and brighten them. I absolutely love doing this with almost like every eye look just because it makes my eyes look bigger, which I can't complain about. <laughs> I'm going to use this shade right here just to add a little bit of dimension underneath the eyes and kind of tie in the upper lids with the lower lash line. I'm gonna coat my lower lashes with that same mascara. Of course I have to apply lashes, let's get real. So I'm gonna be using the Kiss Lashes that is part of their Faux Mink collection in the style Midnight. These are actually really, really pretty. I've worn these once before um, and they're super comfortable and really pretty. Alright guys, so this is the finished result. I just put on a tank top and this cute little choker necklace, which isn't even a necklace. It's actually what I use to keep my robe together, but I thought that this lace was really pretty, so I put it on as a choker, just as an FYI. <laughs> But yeah, this is the finished result. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I really, really like this look. Like this lip combo is like going to be my new go-to nude for sure. But I think everything turned out really pretty and I just had a lot of fun sitting down and just chilling with you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.